Every day, this boy helped the forester to protect the forest. One day when he came across a sick tree, he decided to cut it down. It was quite a job because the tree was already very old. But once the tree was cut down, he got the scare of his life. The tree had come crashing down with a hell of a racket. It's probably thousands of years old, guessed Jonathan, who was 14, the boy who made this extraordinary discovery. When he finally managed to cut down the tree after hours of work, he discovered a large hole in the stump. Curious, he looked into the hole to see how far it extended. It was very dark, but when he shone his flashlight into the hole, he got the scare of his life. Because from inside the hollow tree, two eyes looked straight into the flashlight. Ever since he was a child, Jonathan had a huge commitment to the forest and nature. He grew up in a small village surrounded by one of the oldest forests in the world. It was a wonderful environment for children. Every day, Jonathan went into the woods with his friends. The boys built huts, climbed trees, and came home with the strangest insects. So it was no wonder that Jonathan wanted to become a forest ranger. After all, he knew the woods like the back of his hand. At least that's what he thought. For when Jonathan was walking through the forest one day to make his daily rounds, he decided to go off the path. He walked a long way through the dense forest until he came to a clearing with the biggest tree he'd ever seen in the middle. That's huge, he thought, gazing at the gigantic size of it. Quickly, he walked up to the tree to examine it closely. He felt the bark and looked at the branches, but then he discovered something special. The tree was thousands of years old, guessed Jonathan, running his hand over the stump. He walked slowly around the tree, inspecting it. And then suddenly, he saw something crazy. At the bottom of the tree was a spacious hollow. Jonathan knelt down and stuck his head inside. It was so dark in there, however, that he couldn't see his hand in front of his face. How far into the tree would the hollow extend, he wondered? The answer to this, however, came much sooner than expected. For when his hand suddenly touched a soft, damp piece of wood, Jonathan felt a stab in his heart. This wasn't what he'd wanted to find. After all, soft, damp wood meant only one thing, a diseased tree. And when a tree was infected with this disease, it had to be cut down. Otherwise, it would spread to other trees in the forest. It wasn't easy for Jonathan. The tree was so big and so old that it deserved more respect, but it had to be done. Reluctantly, Jonathan put the chainsaw to the tree. With one hard pull, he cranked the saw and set it against the trunk of the tree. The tree had just been infected, so most of the trunk was still very solid. Wood chips flew around Jonathan's ears as the chainsaw struggled to bite further and further into the trunk. And then it did. With a deafening bang, the giant of the force collapsed. Jonathan wasn't done with the tree, however. The large hollow continued to intrigue him. But when he shone a flashlight into the cavity, he got the scare of his life. Carefully and with a flashlight at the ready, Jonathan crept in a little. He turned on the flashlight and shone it upward into the tree. But what he saw was so unexpected that he let out a cry of fear. He was shining the flashlight right into the eyes of a wild animal. But the animal wasn't moving at all. Jonathan crawled a little further in to investigate further and then he found out the sad truth. There, hidden in the hollow of the tree, was a petrified dog. He'd probably followed a prey animal until he got stuck in the tree cavity. It was a sad sight. The poor dog hadn't managed to free himself and had spent his last hours in the tree cavity. But due to the special properties of the tree, his body had been completely preserved as if he could clamber out at any moment. But why hadn't his owner helped him? To find out, Jonathan posted a picture of his strange find on social media. In doing so, he called on people to share the post so the owner of this poor dog could finally be found. Weeks went by during which he received numerous messages from admirers or people who just had questions about the tree but the clue Jonathan was looking for didn't materialize, until one day a private message appeared in his mailbox. Curiously opened it, and while reading it, his eyes got so big they almost popped out of their sockets. It couldn't be true. The message included the story of an elderly woman who had lost her dog 40 years ago in the woods. When she saw the photo on social media, however, she recognized him immediately. She'd loved him dearly and wondered for years what happened to him, but now she finally had clarity. She thanked Jonathan profusely, the poor woman could finally, after 40 years, say goodbye to her faithful four-legged friend.